Hello, this is Carador, and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick guide to Cthulhu, the end boss of the Stars Are Left DLC for Magicka. Throughout the fight, Cthulhu and his tentacles will submerge periodically for a few seconds before emerging in another random location around the platform, forcing you to constantly change your position on the platform. Cthulhu starts off with two tentacles, however he gains two additional tentacles later on in the fight. They can be temporarily disabled by attacking them, however they will respawn a few seconds later, meaning that it's inadvised to attack them. The tentacle's first attack is a grab, which is telegraphed by the tentacle reaching backwards and to the side. If this grabs you, it will deal 150 damage every second until you free yourself by setting fire to yourself. This is the most dangerous attack the tentacle has. The second attack that the tentacle has is a smash, which is telegraphed by the tentacle reaching directly backwards. If this hits, it will deal 500 damage, but only extends halfway towards the centre of the room. Cthulhu's first attack is a weak lightning attack, which covers approximately one third of the platform. This can either be negated with a lightning shield on yourself, or simply healed through. He telegraphs this attack by raising his hands Emperor Palpatine style. Cthulhu's next attack is a sucking attack where he sucks everything in the room including you towards him. If you reach him, you will be eaten and instantly killed. This can be stopped by simply placing a wall down in front of you to prevent you from reaching him. After reaching approximately 90% health, Cthulhu will start roaring periodically and summoning two toads from the side of the room. These are mostly just an annoyance, dealing very little damage and having very low health. However, they do have a water spray attack, which will wet you if you're not careful. The quickest way I've found of dispatching these is to queue up five waters and use it in an AoE attack to blast them off the edge. This will usually blast at least one off the edge. Despite being amphibious, they will die to this attack. After reaching approximately 80% health, Cthulhu will start using an attack on the centre of the room, which confuses your character, causing all your movement and spells to be reversed. Do not stand in the centre of the room as this is by far his most dangerous attack. Also at 80% health, Cthulhu gains a slow moving ball attack, which has a long channel, so it's very easy to see when it's coming. If it hits you, it will not only kill you, it will transform you into a cultist, which may cause you problems in multiplayer. It will also affect toads if it hits them in this way. The best way to avoid this attack is simply to conjure a wall at it. The wall will be destroyed, but so will the ball. The ball will home in on your location if you don't do this. Cthulhu's last trick is summoning a great big stompy demon to the field at approximately 30% health. This demon has far too much health to nuke down, and its only attack is a close range melee version of Cthulhu's ball attack. The only way I've found to effectively deal with this is to deliberately get yourself grabbed by a tentacle. The tentacles appear to lose their smash attack during this phase. Once grabbed, it will attempt to jump towards you, however it will often overshoot and land in the water, killing it instantly. After this, Cthulhu has no new attacks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, remember please remember just to hit that like button. It helps my channel grow. Thanks very much, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Thanks.